So a lot of people probably think that I just sit in my little office tapping away on my keyboard making apps well I don't well I do but I always come out and test stuff you know so where I am tonight it's about 11.30 p.m. on a Sunday and I'm at um, a churchyard hang on a second So this churchyard, it's around a thousand years old. And um, in 1849, the Prince of Mercia was murdered here. Now, I'm not gonna uh, try and speak to anybody or get a spirit box out or anything like that. I'm just simply going to test out my ghost radar, see if we can see anything. See, so yeah, lots of uh, old gravestones. I wonder what dates are on these. So I've never actually been here before. I have just drove about 40 miles to come here because I know this place has got lots of history. In fact, you know what, you can feel the history in this place. So many dates. 1761. You can see that. There. I know there's older stuff here. Pretty sure there's older stuff. Pretty old. So yeah, pretty spooky. Right. Let's get set up. Okay, so there's a little setup. And it's pointing all the way down there. Got some gravestones to the left. And this is place is so old, man. 1783. <laughs> this is really hard doing this one hundred. So what I'll do once this is set up and running, I'll go for a wander about. I'll go for a wander around with my lidar up. Right. Ghost radar. Okay, that is connected. So it's right, so screen recorder is now recording. Great, let's start that. Okay, so we're now scanning. Picked up the gravestones on the right, nothing in front, and then all the gravestones on the left. Done its main sweep. So now it's just going to keep scanning, and what we're going to look for is any green anomalies. Oh, look, there's one already. I just picked one up. I wonder what that was. Oh, there. There's an anomaly there. It's gone. Oh my god, it's already picked one up. That part in there. Okay, there must be something over there. Let's have a look where that is. Can't see anything. Is it moving? What? Okay, well whilst that does that, it's thing, it's gone. Let's 
back there. Okay, there must be something there because it's not moving much. Okay. Right then, whilst that's doing its thing, we will go for a wander about with my LiDAR wrap. In fact, I'll just get it out here. get the screen recorder going okay LiDAR app is on you can see Let's turn the maximum depth up So the screen record is recording. Some glowing over there. Oh, there we go. Let's go for a wander about, shall we? I'm going to have to hold my phone and my camera in the same hand so that I can use my torch. We'll just keep that running. Okay, let's go for a wander about. Let's go this way. I was going to get my uh, thermal camera going, but I just haven't got enough hands. if you can see that so there's my kit just there Let's turn that off a bit. really centered there we go right, let's go for a wonder let's have a look at this Stone here, 1839. Man, there's nothing around the back here. Okay, there's nothing around the back. We will go for a walk around anyway. This is so hard to do this with all this equipment. I think I'm going to have to make something make this a lot easier the seat here well oh, that's an old thing to do There's lots of chairs around, like benches. Eighteen twenty-one. I thought there were some older graves here. sworn that there was like much older graves here. 1859. Oh, that looks old. 1717. This one. 1859. 1783. 
so yeah um, just to point out I'm not going to be doing any sort of spirit boxes or spirit talker session here you know this is a, a church graveyard where people have been laid to rest so you know and I respect that so I'm not going to try and communicate with anybody just simply come here to test this out okay so that's been running for a while I think that'll do so let's stop that. right let's stop my lidar up I'll show you what we're looking for on here. If I go and stand in front of it, okay, I'll go around this way. I'll stand in front of it, and it should pick me up. There I am. Some little green dots. There I am, right near the to the front. So if I go down here. So it should be picking me up now, pretty much right in front of it, about five, six metres away. Well, there's something over there. That was quite far away, actually. Still picking that dot up on the little, oh it's gone. Do you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of aliens. I think my, uh, what would really like freak me out right now is some green dots started appearing and started coming towards me. That would proper freak me out. Although it would actually be a really good test to see that it picks something up. Okay, I think that'll do anyway. Right, let's turn that off. So you can see it's now stopping. Just gotta wait for it. There we go. There it is. The LiDAR. Ghost Radar. Mark 1. Dun dun dun. Right, let's stop that screen recorder. Stopped. Video saved. Turn the app off. Right, let's pack up and get going. Go home and check out that footage. See if it picked anything up. Well, that was a nice little test to see if my uh, ghost radar picked anything up. Well, I should come back here again. Maybe do a proper investigation, maybe. Not too sure if I'd actually want to do that, though, because it's like I say, graveyards are a place of rest. You know, people come here and get buried to be rested here, you know, their final resting place. So rather than spook them out, or spook me out by appearing. Thank you for letting me come here and test something out. I really appreciate it. Right, let's go home. I've got way too much stuff to be carrying with just two hands. Do you know, I can't wait to get home and uh, review that footage from my 
little ghost ray. I'd see if it did actually pick anything up whilst I was walking around the back. That'd be very interesting to find out. Anyway, that's it. A quick test. See you later. So I'm going to review the uh, footage from uh, that the radar recorded and um, what I've done is I've tried to overlay as best as I can the area from um, Google Maps. Um, so we can see here we've got the, the gravestones around here. In the original video I'd forgot to press the screen recorder uh, to record the screen which is why it had already done the initial uh, anti-clockwise and clockwise sweep which is why it already had the red dots here um, I then paused well stopped the radar started the screen recorder and then carried on so it does the initial anti-clockwise and clockwise sweeps um, building up what it detects and stores them and then every other time it scans, it just overlays new points over the original recorded red points. So if it's green, it's new. If it's red, it's an original point. Okay, so this is the first anomaly here. Um, this green dot and this green dot, just around this red dot, I'm not too fussed about. I'm assuming it's just like a slightly bad recording of a, a length but this one up here we're going to keep an eye on this one because it keeps moving around here when I go for my walk around the back of the church it never appears and then it only appears again when I've come back round to the front so yeah we'll, we'll keep talking about that one so as you can see most of the green dots are all in the, exactly the same place you know all, all of these that one's missing one but all of these are all in the right places apart from that one so it, it is working well but yeah this one up here just just keeps moving around that one I'm not fussed about um, let's just quickly go back to that So I think this gravestone's actually here, and uh, that could just be that edge. This is just this edge, you know. Just it could be a slight deflection from the the edge of the gravestone. Same with that. Now that one, I'm not too sure what that one is either because it kind of lines up with this. So is that like is that a sort of a deflection off the side of the gravestone and it just takes a little longer for the light to reflect back? I'm not sure. So I don't think that's an anomaly. But then if we go forward again, again it picks this one up here. If we just move the, the scanner line back. Okay, so that's the edge of gravestone that line goes up you can see this is here so that is is clearly in between these two gravestones there is nothing that the the laser can deflect off in between these and it's picking something up there you know that that's definitely something it's got to be something you know I, I, just, I just don't think it can't be something you know how, how can that just appear there Anyway, let's speed this up a little bit. Okay, so there's this one now. I'm not sure if that is something to do with this red dot. Because, you know, there's this green dot here, and then when it does the scan past it, it seems to be directly in line with that red dot, you know. So I'm, 
I think it's something to do with that. It's just getting a bad reading. Again, could be deflecting. You know, if we bring this line down, that, that could be skimming the side of a gravestone, you know, and the light could just be reflecting off something somehow before it gets back to the laser. Okay, let's carry on. Little slight movement, but again, it's really, really like bang on in line with that red dot. So I'm convinced that that is something to do with that red dot there. Same with that green dot, it's definitely something to do with that, yeah. What I find slightly baffling as well, all, all the other red dots seem to have a green dot. Like the green dots don't really move much around all of the other red dots. It only seems to be around this area here. So again, there's that green dot in line with that red dot again. I think that's definitely some sort of deflection off the side of a gravestone. Okay, now here, that green, um, this green dot is in line with that. I'll just move that down. Okay, so the green dot just appeared just above my mouse pointer, and it's in line with that. So I think that's definitely some sort of deflection like it's skimming the side of the gravestone but then this one again has appeared here if I just move the, uh, the the radar line back slightly okay there's there's this gap here obviously it's going to be slightly smaller here but that that's a clear gap between these gravestones okay so that laser is clearly going through them it's not deflecting off anything at all and picking this dot up again I, I don't know that's definitely that is definitely an anomaly I can't seem to explain that one you know all the others I'm I can explain I understand why I think they're there you know especially if they're in line with a red dot but that one just isn't Just not in line with anything at all. So I think around now, just go back slightly. So yeah, around now, I think I'm now around the back of the church, and that anomaly just doesn't appear again. The whole time I'm around the back of the church, that green dot does not appear. So yep, yeah, still around the back of the church. Just hasn't appeared again at all. Okay. Yeah, that one. It's definitely something to do with that, that red dot, it's definitely in line with it. Right, so let's just go back slightly. So in the video I said, well, I want to show you what I'm looking for, and this is what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm looking for these sorts of, of green dots, that's just deflections. I'm looking for these, so that's me. I went and moved around and stood in front of the radar. So there I am again, I went and moved slightly further away, so that's me. I then move a bit further away, I then I then go quite far away, in the video I said I'm about 5 or 6 metres away, I'm not, I'm actually nearly 7 metres away, but it's just hard to tell the, the exact distance. Okay, 
so that's me there but again that green dot has appeared in this square and the whole time I was around the back of the church it wasn't there and now that I've come back around to the front it has appeared again so I just I don't know what to make of that so I think what I'm going to do I'm going to go back here I'm going to set my radar up here and I'm going to have it pointing this way and I'm going to see if I can pick anything up around this area just to see you know if nothing appears and it must be a deflection off something but I don't think it is you know it's, there's a clear gap between those where that line is pointing and that dot is appearing in this area you know it's just very odd I'm convinced that that is an anomaly especially as it was only there when I was around the front it's as if there's some entity here watching me do what I'm doing don't know it's very bizarre okay so there I am again and then I, I just pack away so yeah that is that was a great test but this dot around this area I, I, this dot around this area I just, I just don't know what that is I can't explain that right now I'm gonna have to go back side note I'm going to put the date and time here I'm surprised I didn't put it in already something as simple as the time is so useful because uh, so I struggled to get timestamps from this so yeah I'm definitely gonna make sure the date and time is displayed here for the next time I use it